If you wanted to change the white balance of a photo in Photoshop, you might have been left wondering where the heck is this white balance tool? Well, in this tutorial, I'm gonna share exactly where it is and the easiest way to change your white balance here in Photoshop. So let's get into it. Hello friends, my name is Brendan from BeWillCreative.com where we love to talk about photography and photo editing. And in today's tutorial, we're gonna learn how to adjust the white balance of your photo really quickly with the help of Photoshop. Now, unlike other editing programs that has the nice white balance slider sitting at the top of the adjustments panel, Photoshop does not have that option. In Photoshop, there are some adjustment layers that seem to do the job, but they don't really do exactly what you're wanting to. So what you'll learn today is an easier way of adjusting the white balance with the help of Camera Raw. So let's hop into the program and see how it works. So when you want to adjust the white balance in Photoshop, the obvious first place to look is the adjustment panel options. So within these settings, you actually have an option right here called the photo filter. And inside of this, you have a few different options from warming, cooling, and other seemingly white balance type effects. So say for example, I use this warming filter to correct the white balance and it kind of gets the job done, but more than anything, it seems to add more of a stylized look to my sky and not really correct anything. So that's where the problems with adjusting the white balance in this program comes in is because it's not immediately obvious, especially if you're just working with a JPEG file. Now with that said, there is a little something in Photoshop called Camera Raw, and this is like a mini Lightroom inside of the program that has all the basic adjustments that you can use to directly edit a raw file before it gets converted and brought into Photoshop. So if you're opening a raw file from your computer, Camera Raw will open Open automatically but if you're working with a JPEG file or you already have an image open in Photoshop you'll have to access it a little bit differently so with your image that you want to adjust the white balance of first make sure it's unlocked and then we'll convert it into a smart object like so and you'll understand why we're doing that later on with that layer turned into a smart object we'll go to filter and then down here to camera raw filter to bring up our white balance adjustment settings now here within Camera Raw, you have all of your basic settings and of course, just what we're looking for, the temperature and tint sliders, our white balance adjustments. And we can do all of that right here in Camera Raw. Just like with Lightroom, you can just move it left or right to change the yellow or blue hues or add a little green or magenta, depending on what you're into. Now, to make this process even easier, there is a little tool called the eyedropper tool. And I've talked about how to use this in Lightroom and it works very similarly in Camera Raw. So right here above the temperature, temperature slider is this eyedropper tool. And by clicking on that, I can go and sample any area in my photo. And the idea here is you wanna sample a color that you want to look white and that will set your white balance accordingly. So clicking right here in the sky, for example, it's gonna adjust that white balance and tint adjustment to make that sampled area purely white and adjust all the colors accordingly. If I click somewhere else in my photo, it's gonna give me a slightly different effect because there are different hues there. So the idea here is to sample a color that is actually white in your image. That way you'll get the best results possible. So in this case, the sky works quite well or I could also do the building. So that way you're not doing any guesswork with moving the slider manually. You can just click anywhere to sample a color that you already know is white and then the job is done. So then once you're happy with your white balance adjustment, just click OK and your camera raw adjustments will be applied. Now the reason we converted to a smart object earlier is that now we have our camera raw filter right below here as a smart filter. Now what that means is that if you decide later on, oh, I actually really hate this white balance adjustment and I would like to fix it up, you can just double click on the camera raw filter here and it's going to reopen that exact adjustment with all of the settings that you made previously. If you did not have smart filters enabled, then all of your camera raw adjustments are directly applied onto your image and you can't go back and change them later on. So this way you can continue to edit non-destructively and you always have the option to go back later on if you need. So that is how to quickly change the white balance in Photoshop with the help of camera raw and a handy little eyedropper tool to make white balance adjustments so much easier. Now, if you enjoyed today's tutorial, then make sure to hit that like button as it really does make a difference. And also consider subscribing to stay up to date with more tutorials just like today. Again, my name is Brendan from BeWillCreative.com and I'll catch you back here next time for another new tutorial. See you then.